What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Hey, do you think we have a thousand Zelda items? Oh, I know we do. Well, even if we don't, we got some mail. Yay, mail and mail! Welcome back, nerdlings. Tom and Lady Delacy of Do You Nerd here. And we are trying to see if we have 1,000 items in our Zelda collection. I know, I know, we've kind of drugged this series out way, way, way too long. But listen, we go to a lot of things. We do a lot of stuff. Honestly, guys, we're barely even home. Ghost train. This, this, right now, this, this is the most time that we're home when, when we film something and then we have to go right now and then we're going to leave. leave. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> we actually had somebody reach out to us on Instagram, yes. I believe. Yes. Uh, name's Sabine. Asking if we were still doing the Thousand Zelda collection. And I and said, we of are. course we are. <laughs> they wanted to send something to us. So that's ridiculously that was nice, nice of you. There's going to be a link in the description below. So you can tell them how nice they are because... <laughs> I'm pretty sure we already have a thousand Zelda items, but just in case. Never heard uh, that more. Yeah, yeah, you know. So. All right, we have cut the box open. We have not looked no, inside yet. Oh, I got the. Oh, oh. there is the note. notes. Oh, nice, nice. So it starts off saying, "Hey, Lacey and Tom, I wanted to help you on your quest for one thousand Zelda items. So here are a couple of items for the collection." Spoilers below. I'll try to fold it so you don't see anything. Nice, that was clever. <laughs> so we'll. We'll leave this so folder we'll for back. right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, please! <laughs> oh, wow! That is oh my so gosh! Cute. Okay, first of all, kudos on the packing. Yes. There's all kinds of foam in here, so this stuff was super safe, and it's a good thing too. Look at that this! Is so cute! What an epic scene from Link's Awakening, Link and Marin are sitting on the beach and, and there's just all the emotion in the world because Marin is talking to Link who has come to their island from far away about how she would love to be as free as a seagull and fly and leave the island because she's been there her whole well, life. And the neat thing about this is it's 3D. Like the clouds are sticking out. They're in 3D. There's like a little plant right up front. That, that is, is gorgeous. So, so I'm so, pretty sure he made this from the sound of the message. That is so beautiful i love this and there's also a jar um so i mean you can't be on an island without a message in a bottle or some rum but mm. uh, the rum's, rum's always gone long, now so. this is this is interesting it looks like it looks like we have a light and then maybe some uh some fairies for in the jar oh, how cute so let's take a look at the rest of the notes so the first item is from Link's Awakening when Link and Marin sit at the beach talking. I remember this on the Game Boy and going for a zero death playthrough for the secret ending. Hey, yeah. First of all, love that it has that nostalgia for yes. you, Link's Awakening. Yes. Who knows about the secret ending? Have you gotten it? The second is a pair of fairies in a jar. Bonus, it lights up by twisting the light on the bottom. It also is USB chargeable, careful taking out the fairies. Okay. Enjoy, and I hope to contribute more in the future. Stay nerdy, Sabin. Look at how great that is. <laughs> that is so amazing. Now, this is great. I love this. Absolutely a fantastic piece. Do they for like the it collection. when you do this? No. Oh. No. What are you doing? Not only are we adding a couple more Zelda items to the 1000 collection, they're handmade, they're totally unique, they're absolutely gorgeous. So thank you so much, Sabin. Real quick, let's turn it over. It's one of our nerdlings. We actually still have some clips. These clips are way too old and I'm very, very sorry, but here they are right now. Now when Sir Tom and Lady Lacey started this epic adventure to catalogue each and every piece of The Legend of Zelda that they have in their collection, well they knew when it came to me, there would be very little there. And not because The Legend of Zelda isn't something worth collecting, it's just that one, I'm old, and two, I'm Scottish, so there wasn't a great deal of Nintendo love back in the day for me. I didn't grow up with Link, I grew up with Horus. I didn't come of age with Link. I came of age with Sonic the Hedgehog, and I didn't, well, play as a man, as Link. 
I played as a man with Ezio Auditore di Firenze, but there are a couple of items that I do have that are of course part of the Legend of Zelda. And the first one, well, it's one that everyone should have because it's one of the greatest games of all time, modern greatest games, and it's the Breath of the Wild. Secondly, is the game that introduced me to Zelda itself because I did get in late and that is the Twilight Princess on the Nintendo Wii which was the first Nintendo console that I bought to properly play and last but not least the most important part to me because you see Legend of Zelda might not mean a great deal when it comes to terms of games and gameplay but there is something very special about it that I have carried all through, just about all through my gaming life and that is on this. Now not the game itself but what you're about to experience. And yes, I'm talking about one of the most stunning and iconic pieces of game soundtrack of all time. Now, although I didn't personally grow up with The Legend of Zelda, that doesn't mean I wasn't exposed to it from time to time. And the one thing from The Legend of Zelda that I've carried for, well, ever, is definitely this wonderful tune. Now, I really appreciate the importance of great soundtracks in games. And even as someone who has never properly experienced these games, that particular piece of music is something that could get anyone's blood pumping and it's why I've personally carried a little bit of Zelda around with me for decades without even knowing that I was doing it. So yes, I don't have the most impressive collection when it comes to The Legend of Zelda, but this epic quest that Sir Tom and Lady Lacey are embarking on might just whet my appetite for more. So while I sit here in my Monsters Link t-shirt, I think I'll start and play some from the beginning. Apparently, it's dangerous to go out there alone. I'm surprised you're letting me hold the bear. Well, once again, sharing that Zelda love with the community and the community sharing right back with us. Thank you sharing, so sharing. much. I I love both of these, these items so much. I love handmade stuff like this. Handmade unique thing. And the best part is, you know, when you put pieces like this in your collection, this is the stuff that has a story yes. behind it. Uh, the friends that you meet in the community, yeah. a community that you wouldn't always anticipate having such great friends mm -hmm. in. Thank you once more. Please check out the link in the description below. These and, are amazing. These are definitely something I would see us picking up at a convention. Yeah, just as, as long as you're not shaking them anymore. Oh, don't, here. You don't, them. don't shake your fairies. Guys. Don't shake them. Oh no, I'm a sandwater right now. <laughs> See you next time, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. What was that? What was that? Maybe it was the floor creaking. I thought somebody hit the floor. The bodies. The body. Why do we play? Church. So, wait, what? what's it look like? It looks like a mushroom cloud. <laughs> like you're looking up into the distance and they're like, oh look, a nuclear bomb just went off. How pretty. <laughs> Lincolnheimer. <laughs>